You're using Zooms for presentations, meetings, conferences, or some type of events like fitness classes. Then I think I have a couple of tips for you how you can increase your video quality in Zoom by just changing a couple of settings there. By default, Zoom kind of automatically figures out what kind of quality your system can handle and how much they can actually push through your internet connection. And that is actually one of the most important factors to a nice looking image on Zoom. Of course, you can have a nice camera, you can upgrade there. However, if your internet connection is choppy, then your video will almost always also be choppy or get downgraded in resolution and bitrate, making you look like a blocky mess. Now, when you have a good internet connection, then there's also a couple of more steps to either change or at least monitor whether or not you actually have the quality that you think you are presenting in. For the longest time, Zoom was using and might still be using 360p video as the default rate for a free account holding a meeting of 40 minutes. But even if you upgrade to the pro plan, you would still have that 360p limit if you don't change certain settings in the user dashboard. And sometimes you actually also have to send an email to the support. And I will have all of that information here in this video. Starting out, I want to show you how you can actually figure out what the resolution of the current meeting is at. And that is happening if you go up to the menu in the Zoom application to settings, and then you have a point that's called statistics. And here you have a couple of tabs where you can see the current status of your computer with audio as well as video. And as you can see, this meeting right now between these two devices that I have here is at the resolution of 720p, that is the height of the video right here, and a frame rate of 30 frames per second. And you can also see how many packages are getting lost in the sending or the receiving if your internet connection is really bad. Of course, this is already the 720p setting that we want to achieve, but you might see other numbers here for example, ending in 360p or 540 and so on. So this here is actually the number that you want to achieve in the pro plan. And sometimes you can even get that in the free plan as well. When you're holding important meetings or even hosting events via Zoom, then I would actually make sure to at least open this up in between the meeting or at the beginning of the meeting to see those statistics and make sure that the quality level is at the one that you would expect. This is especially also important because as you are starting cloud recording as well as local recording, these settings will actually be locked in. So if you start the cloud recording when it's not at 720p, you're actually going to record at a lower quality. And then you wanna go also into the video settings and here you want to at least set the original ratio as well as the HD checkbox. The original ratio makes sure that you are actually stretched out to a regular 16 by nine or nine by 16 video. When you're not having that set, there's actually most likely going to be something cut off off of the sides to make you a little bit more square. However, if the video quality of your call is important to you, you're probably also framing your shot the way that you want it to be framed. And then this setting is really important because it makes sure that the 16 by nine video that you're sending is actually also what the others are receiving and seeing. So those are two very important settings to actually make sure that you're sending the video that you think you're sending. Last but not least, I just wanna also go into the audio here, even though that is not the main topic of this video, I would also enable this original sound for musicians with the high fidelity for music and echo cancellation turned on. And this here is actually something that is not automatically turned on in the video call by default, even if it is set here. But instead, there's a setting up here in the top that is called original sound for musicians. And you can just toggle this on and off as you need. This setting is particularly important if you are, for example, teaching a fitness class or something like yoga, because there you might have background music or you already are using a high quality microphone like a Rode Lavalier and then you want to also transmit that quality. And if you don't use this setting and specifically also activate it at the beginning of the call, the music or the noises or the nature around you is actually just going to be completely stripped out by the noise cancellation. Of course, in an ideal scenario, you would be wearing headphones or you are hosting an event where your participants are not speaking for a long duration, then you can also turn off the echo cancellation. However, this is something to be a little bit mindful of because it might 
have issues if you want to work with the recording after the fact. Now, these are the settings that you want to change in Zoom for high quality video and audio. But how do you make sure that these are actually also the settings that are active in your account and also able to really transmit? Because in the Zoom dashboard, there's actually a setting called Meeting HD, which you can choose to turn on or off. And based on these settings, the Zoom calls that you host on your Zoom account are actually going to be either HD or they just never go up to that quality level. Now to confirm how these settings are set or change them if necessary, you can log into your Zoom account on the Zoom website and then you can go all the way down to first account management and then account settings right here. And there you can just either search or go to in meeting advanced and once you are here, there's a little lower, there's a meeting called Meeting HD Quality. And this is something that you as the host of this event can enable here for your entire account. You can then also lock this setting, meaning that none of the users in your account can change the setting for themselves. Then the next setting that you also have to make sure that it's set is in your own settings. So you can go up into the sidebar, there's a point called settings, and there again you have in meeting advanced, and there you can also scroll down a little bit, and there you have the meeting HD quality, and this is also activated. Now with these two toggles turned on, you might actually be already able to get this Zoom HD quality. And as I've shown you before, with the statistics window in the settings, you can actually also make sure and confirm that this is actually what is happening with the resolution right here being 1280 by 720p. Now, if this is not the case, either you have to wait a couple of hours for the setting to be activated or, which is a little bit more strange, you actually have to send an email to the customer support of Zoom requesting them to also enable this HD quality on their end. This has been the case for the last couple of years. I think they might be changing this now to actually give you meeting HD quality when you have that setting in your account set. However, if you're not seeing this here, then I have a message here in the description of this video or in the comments, and you can just copy and paste that and send it to the customer support. And that basically requests them to activate the HD quality for your account. Now, just to remind you, this is obviously only possible if you have a paid account. When you are in the free tier, you're just gonna get whatever Zoom is willing to give you in terms of the resolution. But one important thing, if you have a free plan and you're joining a meeting by someone else that has the pro plan as, for example, a presenter at a conference or in an event, then all of the settings that I showed you in the Zoom application itself with the HD and the original ratio, those still apply, but the overall quality of the call and whether or not you will actually get 720p quality depends on the host and the settings that they did for their account. Wrapping up, I actually found it quite strange that Nicole was using her Zoom account paid for about two or three years now and we thought she would be having the 720p quality until I learned about the statistics window to actually look it up while she was teaching a yoga class. And there I saw it was only 360p. And I rechecked the dashboard settings were all there. The HD video quality was already checked and enabled. And then I found out about the whole thing that you have to send the customer support a message to actually get it enabled in the backend. I have a feeling that they're currently rolling out the 720p quality even to free accounts. I tested it for myself today and I found that the 720p was actually also working on my free account. But if that's not the case for everybody, in this video I showed you all of the ways that you can check how the quality is set where the meeting HD settings are in the account as well as on the user level. And then if all of that doesn't work, also the message that you will find in the comment or in the description to make sure that they enable the HD quality for you in your account. Now I hope you upgrade your Zoom meetings with a bit more resolution to look better as ever. And if you want to have help with this or anything in this realm, of course, you can check out my consultancy offer, which is linked in the description below or in one of the comments. Now, with that said, have an amazing day, make it your life, and I'll see you in another one.